Six months ago, I made a video about hydrogen water bottles. It's had over 160,000 views and thousands of comments. Because the science has really only been around the last 20 years or so, and it's a new topic, it does provoke a lot of skepticism. Today, I'm making an update video to show you what I'm currently using and to answer many of the comments on that video. If you haven't seen that video yet, you probably wanna watch that before and then come back to this video. And of course, this is not medical advice. So first of all, I wanna tell you what I'm doing now. I now use this Hydrogen for Health H2 Nano Bottle, which I mentioned in the last video. They've not paid me or sponsored me, and these are my own views. You fill the bottle with either tap or distilled or mineral water, and you push the button here. It can either run for five minutes, where it will give you 1.5 milligrams per liter PPM, which means parts per million of hydrogen in the water, or you can let it run for 10 minutes where it will give you 4.75 milligrams ppm depends how much time you have you get around eight five minute cycles with every charge the reasons i use this particular bottle firstly is that hydrogen for health are the only company who've conducted an independent analysis to confirm that their bottle is not putting any forever chemicals into the water the issue is that most of these bottles no matter what brand use a membrane made by dupont dupont produces teflon and other waterproof chemicals which are made of forever chemicals or pfas you can learn more about them in my video here. So Hydrogen for Health did this third party independent test to confirm that no forever chemicals were present when using their products. Here are the results you can see yourself. So they're the only hydrogen water bottle company to do this and for that reason it's the only company which I now recommend. The previous company that I reviewed in the last video did say that they didn't have those chemicals in the water as well, but they did not provide any proof of this. Second reason I like this is that these guys have been around since 2007. If this was some kind of scam company, they wouldn't have lasted that long. The other reason why I like this is that you can detach it and attach a regular water bottle to this, like a plastic bottle, to add hydrogen to that. So these bottles are not cheap. This one at the moment costs 209 US dollars, and there's a discount if you click on the link below. Nor are they very light or portable, so you can't really take them to the gym or go walking around with them, as you wouldn't want to drop and smash a 200 dollar bottle. So I keep this in my kitchen. Every morning when I get up, I fill this, I line up all my supplements, I get my breakfast ready, and then I stop and I drink this with my capsules. It's the main way I remember to use the bottle, as I find if you're really thirsty and you run into the kitchen, you don't have time to put water, press a button and wait five minutes. So for example, if you take this to the office, keep it on your desk, just keep it somewhere where it's gonna be visible and you'll remember to use it. Alternatively, you could just use the base to hydrogenate a big plastic water bottle and take that to the gym, but you only have a couple of hours before all the hydrogen evaporates. So onto the comments that I got on that last video. So firstly, lots of you are very skeptical about these products and think it's a scam. And that's absolutely fine if that's your opinion. I'm not here to defend anything. Firstly, regarding the science behind drinking hydrogen water. In the last video, I went through a few different studies done in different parts of the world, which did have positive results about drinking hydrogen water, but there have been over 1,000 peer-reviewed papers worldwide over the last 20 years. I don't believe all those studies are fake you make your own mind up. If it was one company behind them all, then yeah, fair enough. But there are different institutions all over the globe coming up with very interesting and positive results regarding the various benefits of hydrogen water on our health. There haven't been enough studies for anyone to come out and say, yes, there's no doubt these bottles will change your life but that kind of investment would only take place if there were huge profits that big pharma companies could make, for example, with a vaccine or a new medicine. And with these water bottles, there just isn't enough money in them. Secondly, let's look at the science behind these bottles themselves. All those studies were on hydrogen water, not the particular bottles or brands producing it. These bottles rely on the science of electrolysis, which is making hydrogen gas get released into the water by splitting the H2O molecule. On top of that, these bottle companies can get certified by an external company, which will give them IHSA, International Hydrogen Standards Certificate of Compliance. And you can check their website, which I'll put below for the particular things they test for, like heavy metals. The company cannot exaggerate any claims. The bottle has to produce the minimum amount of hydrogen gas 
gas, etc. How credible that organization is, I don't know. The specific issue many of you raised is that these hydrogen water bottles aren't actually adding new hydrogen to the water. And you're right, but that doesn't make it a scam. Let me explain. The process of electrolysis splits some of the water, the H2O, which is two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen into its constituent parts. So it creates oxygen, which is funneled out of the bottle and hydrogen, which is released as gas into the water. That's the bubbles you see when you turn this on. So new hydrogen is not magically being added to the water, but it is changing a percentage of the water into hydrogen gas so you get the health benefits. And I think the confusion is that many of you thought these bottles add new hydrogen and you feel it's somehow misleading. Many of you said drinking this made no difference and that could well be true for you. Hydrogen water is not like you take an aspirin and you see immediate effects. The theory is hydrogen works at a cellular level, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation over time. You need consistency and patience. So your arthritis is not gonna suddenly disappear after taking a few sips, but after a few months, you may notice an improvement. So I think many of you do need to alter your immediate expectations. This particular bottle does have a 60 day money back warranty. So if it doesn't work, you can send it back. Many of you were saying you bought one of these bottles on Amazon or eBay and they didn't work, but there's a huge difference between the cheap bottles, which don't have the dual chamber technology and these more expensive ones. The cheap ones are potentially putting chlorine and ozone into your water, which is not gonna do you any good. And that's why many of you say it smells funny, it has a metallic taste, in this case, buying cheap is not a good option. You just have to check the awful reviews on Amazon of these bottle manufacturers to see that they don't work, they leak and they fall to bits. Now to the biggest pain point for many of you, I mentioned in the last video that the bottle was FDA approved. I had so many comments attacking me as lots of you rightly say that doesn't mean anything. I'm not American, it has no influence on me, especially as I understand the FDA has a corrupt funding model. But there are many people out there who do see the FDA endorsement as valid, which is why I mentioned it. I have all types of viewers and I can't please everyone. Many of you commented asking why I only did a 14 day test in that last video. I luckily don't have any inflammation or diseases. I lead a super healthy life. I'm already taking antioxidant supplements and exercising and avoiding vegetable oils, which causes inflammation. And you can learn more about that in this video here. So for me, there wouldn't be any sudden change. If someone who smokes and drinks and has inflammatory conditions tried it, it's more likely they would see a difference. And many of you have commented to say your inflammation or headaches or whatever conditions have improved. However, I'm still going to use this bottle. Now I know there's no PFAS in it and it's not doing me any harm. Why wouldn't I try to get the health benefits? I take vitamin C supplements as well, even though I can't tell you for sure. Yes, it does A, B and C for me. Yes, you have the initial expense of the bottle, but that will pay itself back many times over if it improves your health. Now on to hydrogen tablets. So they contain magnesium, which reacts with water to put hydrogen into the water. So they cost around $50 on Amazon for 60 tablets. So you'd need to buy six packets per year if you took one tablet a day, which would be $300. So in the long run, you'd be better off just buying the bottle, which you can use an unlimited time per day for many years. But if you prefer the tablets, then go with that. My channel is to provide reviews and information, definitely not to tell you what to do. Another question was about whether you need to add an electrolyte to like salt to distilled water. So some of the bottles say you have to and others don't. So apparently PEM, proton exchange membrane bottles don't need an electrolyte added to distilled water. So hopefully I've provided some answers and clarity to everyone who put comments on that last video. If you have one of these bottles, please let me know if you've noticed any health benefits or any changes. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscribe. It would really help my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.